Quicksilver project is gaining momentum and Salford is contributing essential research. An attempt at the World Water Speed record is scheduled to take place next year. Thurai Rahulan gives us the story so far. Quicksilver is a project to uh, beat the uh, world speed record. Uh, it is the ultimate um, aim of, uh, the, amongst the, uh, uh, the, the water sports people. And um, uh, what uh, we are trying to do is uh, to uh, increase the current uh, speed, which is at, stands at 317 miles per hour. It was set by a gentleman called uh, Ken Warby from uh, Australia and uh, we are designing a craft which uh, will um, exceed that particular speed. Uh, what uh, Salford University is doing is uh, contributing towards its design by assessing the uh, aerodynamic and the hydrodynamic performance. And uh, after the, um, the initial test, we just conducted the uh, second series of tests on a modified craft. And we think that uh, the final craft is going to weigh about uh, three and a half tons and it's going to be uh, about 40 feet long, 13 and a bit meters long. Uh, what you're trying to do at the moment is um, assess its uh, handling qualities and make sure that uh, you can achieve this record yeah, in a safe manner for the pilot. Nigel McKnight uh, is the one who initiated this project and uh, he'll be at the helm when uh, we go for the world record. Uh, uh, Salford University has got extremely good uh, wind tunnel facilities and uh, two universities are helping uh, Nigel McKnight with this project. One of them is Southampton, who have done a lot of work already on uh, wind tunnel testing. We also uh, uh, complemented uh, that series of tests with uh, looking at um, the, uh, the forces and moments that are generated. We have got a uh, roughly a one-tenth scale model at the, at the moment, and uh, that uh, has been installed in the wind tunnel and uh, we have subjected it, it to uh, certain flow conditions and we have simulated the water surface with uh, what we call a ground board with which you can adjust the gap between the hull of the boat and the water surface. So those are the testing facilities that we've uh, provided and of course uh, we uh, hand over the, uh, the entire study to students so that uh, they uh, get some uh, very good learning outcomes out of this and uh, also it, uh, uh, it's, it's a naturally exciting project so uh, uh, quite a number of students have been involved with this study and of course we asked them to uh, conduct some um, analytical studies as well just to show that uh, how the mathematics can be used to design uh, uh, and design in incorporate design improvements and uh, what we then ask the students to do is to find out where the predicted results are tallying with the, the, the test results. And uh, so as far as Salford University is concerned, uh, we are hoping to uh, use this to uh, show future students uh, what can be achieved and that um, some of our students do get involved with uh, projects which involve the world speed records and that uh, it is being done by um, uh, students using the uh, the uh, contents of the syllabus, uh, uh, which is part of our, the university curricula. If um, any of you would like to know more about, um, get more information on uh, this particular project, uh, please visit uh, www.quicksilver-wsr.com.